funny. And breathe. <laughs> Goodness me, how on earth did it come to that? Having been so in control, United hanging on at the end, but crucially, they got the job done, Rob. Yeah, crazy second half. We spoke about having like that moment of quality, and it, and it certainly undone Barnsley to go three goals up. But then to, to be in the situation at the end, it's just a strange football game. Yeah, came out flying second half, Sheffield United. That's what we needed to see. Luis Mousset came alive and, you know, six minutes into it, he does this. And this was a, a real moment of quality in a game that desperately needed it. Yeah, we spoke about it at half time that Mousset can offer you this and it's just pure effort and linting. He comes inside and that's what Mousset is about. He's got this in him. So we need to see more and more of it. Fabulous finish, isn't it, this? It really is. just uses that right foot of his to bend it. And he's almost got a screen with the two defenders as well yeah, to great whip finish. it round. To come round there like that. Brilliant. So pandemonium in the away end. Lise Mousset breaking the deadlock. And Sheffield United at this point really took it to Barnsley. And then in the blink of an eye, Mousset's in again. Yeah, it's good. It's a good play uh, this time from Osborne down the left. I mean, he, he gets in A because there's a lot of room for Osborne to put that delivery in. And same again, a striker's instinctive finishes to get in there, and, and that's what Musa does well. Two very different goals, but shows great desire here to get in front of his defender and finish yeah, that. Again, it's the F hint, it's the commitment to get into the box, and that's where he's going to get his rewards, and he certainly does. It's a Billy Sharp type finish, actually, isn't it? It's the kind of goals that we're used to seeing Billy do so yeah. often. I think you can rely on Osborne's and Baldock's. The ball's coming in, so yeah. you're, you can make these runs, and, and, and they'll deliver. Well, he's, his confidence clearly by this point is through the roof, Moussa, and we thought that he was on for his hat-trick here. Yeah. We thought he was on for his hat-trick, and I think it's, uh, is it this one that goes over? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it come by the window at Bramall Lane when I was looking out <laughs> there as well, so uh, yeah, still there. But, <laughs> but, but they're cruising at this point, absolutely cruising, and we're just thinking how long before they get the next one, how long before they get the next one, but Bernie involved in Sheffield United's next move here, and uh, Moussa sniffing something out, and again makes a great near post run, but just couldn't be picked out. At this moment in time when the Barnsley were really there for the taking, I mean, I've never seen anybody get so much space in wide areas to run in with the ball like that, McBurney. So again, decision making on McBurney maybe, uh, but it was a decent enough run yeah. from Moussa. And it seemed at this point that Barnsley's best hope of getting back into the game might come from a set piece. And when you've got Corley Woodrow on set plays, on everything, there's always a chance that they might sneak one. It's not too far away, this no, good he is on everything, Woodrow. So they do rely on his uh, quality from these set pieces. And when you see it from that angle, like, like you say, it's not too far over. Yeah, Jasper Moon then cracks the post and we're kind of thinking, do not let them back in at this stage. Yeah, you always know they're going to get that half chance if the ball falls and Moon, he does well, just gets over it and it's strikes brilliant strike, it. Brilliant strike, isn't it? Yeah. So... So, they got that third goal, which we thought would bury Barnsley once and for all. Ben Osborne coming to the party here. And he's got all the time in the world here. I don't know what Barnsley's defence was thinking. He's got time to control it, pick his spot. No, I think Osborne in those situations, isn't he? With his guided left foot, you know he's going to put the ball in the back of the net. It's decent play from Baldock. He got in, into some good positions on, on the, uh, in the game, didn't he, down there? Yeah. Certainly opening Barnsley up. So it's time to get the cigars out at this point. We're all puffing nicely on our That's cigars it, in the studio uh, here. Being a Sheffield United fan, you always, aren't you, thinking maybe, let's say they don't get one. Yeah, well, Devante Cole came on, made a difference. Uh, a really good strike, this, actually. Uh, and Barnsley, just at this point, gave themselves a glimmer. What a hit that is. Yeah, he just had the chance just before, didn't he, which he'll be disappointed. But this is an absolute instinctive finish, and he's took it really well. Well, when your dad's Andrew Cole, then I dare say you pick <laughs> up a few tips along the way. Yeah, that's a very good finish. It's, it's a fabulous finish. But even at 3-1, even at you're thinking, just manage the game. Manage the game, but Sheffield United right now, you can never rest easy watching them, can you? It's not good for the heart rate. 3-1 then becomes 3-2. It's another substitute. Aaron Leyer, a second this time. He shows great persistence, but... How on earth does he manage to get his way I think through? For as good as Baldock's been all afternoon, isn't he? He, he, he will be disappointed on how he's like actually let him wriggle through there. He has a couple of chances to get get the ball away, but he, he gets the rubber by the green and he finds himself through and again smashes it. But certainly unneeded, weren't it? When they were going into the last 10, 3 2. We talk about game management a lot. Is that something that this Blades team has to learn? 
and learn fast. You can't keep giving teams little gimmies like that, giving them yeah. glimmers to get back into games. Yeah, I think there's some stats out there, isn't it, compared to last year where you were first on not conceding and all that. Mm. You prob probably could be bottom of the pile on conceding goals. And let's be honest, United were, were rocking towards the end. They were really having to cling on as Barnsley pushed for the equaliser right mm. into stoppage time and this happens. Thankfully, United came through it unscathed, but a few hearts pounding here. Yeah, it certainly become the Barnsley of last season, didn't you? You knew what was going to come in the last last five or ten minutes. They're going to stick it on you. And like you say, it's just, it's just those situations that on the day you get away with. Well, they got there in the end, thankfully. Uh, just a reminder what we've got coming up here on SUTV Live. Plenty of more action for you to enjoy with us. Starting on Saturday, next weekend, Sheffield United hosting Blackpool. Three o'clock start, Ashley joined by Carlos Saba and, of course, Kevin Gage. And then we follow Sheffield United on the road to the city ground to face a resurgent Nottingham Forest. Tuesday the 2nd, 7.45, I'll be back in the chair with Chris Morgan as part of your team for that one. Well, it is a return to winning ways for Sheffield United. It should have been a lot more comfortable than it was. It wasn't good for the heart rate, but the bottom line is they've got the win that puts them back in the playoff picture. They edged the South Yorkshire derby by three goals to two. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.